Hey, have you heard about the new Hiders badge? You uh, hide a cache and you get the new uh, souvenir from uh, Geocaching Headquarters for uh, hiding a geocache. It's uh, March 2nd and we're about to hide a cache to get the souvenir that next on Geocaching with Simroll. Yeah, so uh, it's been a while since I hit a cache. And I think it was Halloween last year when I hit the O2, our Oakwood Cemetery cache that was muddled and then I had to replace it with the O2 uh, cache, which is uh, Otis Oakwood Cemetery cache. So, and uh, looks like we need to do maintenance on that one, but uh, we need to go find a cache here get our souvenir. So I got a place picked out. Uh, it's a place where I hit a snag tag before. So we're uh, going to uh, hide the tag. Hide the cash. So what I got is a preform tube. All got a log in it. Uh, it was actually attached to a rock and it kind of broke off. So we're going to reuse this. Uh, there's a tree here that uh, we're going to use a tie wrap to tie wrap it to. So I've just got to find a place in this tree here to, out of conspicuous way to hide this sucker. Well, not, not super hidden, but uh, can't see it from the road. So hopefully it lasts. So it's not too far from the Sherlock self-storage. And this is where I hid a snake the tag Sherlock Holmes tag away from here. And we're gonna make this a puzzle cache. So with a Sherlock Holmes uh, kind of puzzle you have to solve. So we'll go back to the office and write this up. So we're ready to submit. Got the cash all written out. This is Sherlock Holmes and the Case of the Oil Smugglers. So, to the Holmes, the cash is not posted at the court. Posted coordinates. You need to solve the puzzle to locate the final. Sherlock was mere days from cracking the international puzzle ring. Has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting the last known location, you find a note. There's a bunch of numbers. Can you break the detective code to find the criminal's name? So if you break the code, find the criminal's name, go to certitude, type it in, uh, then it's gonna give you a waymark pro projection to the ca final cache. With, uh, and if you get those coordinates, you can check that in the final solution checker. So we're all ready to submit. So we'll send her away. Uh, I'm gonna give the reviewer a uh, heads up on how to solve the puzzle and cache location. So we'll see if it gets when it gets published and get the souvenir. So later that same day, at uh, almost ten o'clock, I uh, got an email that the uh, cache was published by Castrum. Uh, no problems with my write-up or anything, so that's a bonus. And then got an email later that uh, Carney Grill and NL Kipple, <laughs> Kippies uh, got the first fine on it at 11:19. Uh, uh, now Carney's roughly about 30 miles from where I live and. 24 miles for Tina, um, but then he had to go from Hamilton area to Brantford and then down to Simcoe to get this. So, how far would you travel for a first flying? <laughs> so, got my uh, souvenir for being a hider, uh, another cache out there. Uh, 
so far the certitude has 11 11 uh, thumbs up so 11 people figured this out and nine people got the wrong answer so uh neat little puzzle so uh until next time cash you later cash on the trails bye